So I do have some bad news I have to share with you. I'm a, uh, I think a better word might just be disheartened. I'm very disheartened. I'm embarrassed. There's a, no one's talked about it. Jake, Brianne, Ellie, Jamie. We've all avoided the subject for a while. And so this is the first time you're gonna hear it. And uh, you'll hear it straight from the horse's mouth. No, you're not the horse. You're not the horse. Hey, Danny, you're not the horse. You got something you wanna tell us? You got something you wanna tell us? The chickens are not using the chicken goo. I don't think anyone understood that. Let's see if Voodoo can try better. Voodoo, can you help What's us out here? What's Bucky's talking about? What's he trying to tell us? The chickens are not using the chicken coop. <laughs> so here we are a week after Crandall and Marcy left us in this beautiful chicken coop uh, complete with eight laying boxes. <laughs> oh my gosh, all the neat stuff they put on the front of it and made it look so, like a little western town sits here vacant and at night all the chickens the turkeys the peacocks you name it they still hang out up there and they still well they just cause a lot of mess It is a cold morning. Guys, it's 60 degrees. Hey, babies. I walked outside to have coffee with Jamie. Uh, she had to go back in and put a sweater on. And I'm sitting here. I got the shakes. I, this, is, this is from Chills. Sweetie, you're cold too, ain't you? I see how cold you are. Yeah, we're going to have to walk back in and, and uh, bundle up. I hate to say it the way... Because we've waited for cooler temps for a long time. But uh, waking up this morning to our very first day when uh, we got down this low. It's been our, okay, it makes no sense at all. It's been our lowest morning temperature-wise so far of the fall season. So Tilly has the devil in her. Good morning, Tilly, baby. Look, she's all f Sweetie, be so good to Maggie. Maggie, I don't know if Tilly wants to love and play right now. She's like, I'm not cold. I'm actually, I'm pretty warmed up, actually. You look like a woolly mammoth. Isn't it crazy how Mother Nature just knows? Mother Nature just knows the cooler weather's coming. Uh, let's take a little peek around, guys. We haven't uh, had a good look around in a little while. I'll tell you, I... Uh, I hear her. Hey, settle, don't get that look off your face. Oh my Lord. It is sweater weather. Sweater weather. That's a little bit hard to say. The roosters are crowing like crazy. Everyone seems to be enjoying the cooler weather. Look at this boy. Look how handsome he looks. Sweet girl. You can't walk right up beside me and do your, do that. Hello, handsome. I saw a video where he was giving Brienne, she come down to feed one afternoon and uh, he was just giving her a hard time. He had her on the run. Corny, stop! Corny, no! Corny, no, Corny, no, Corny, no, Corny, no, Corny, shoot! Corny, stop! Here's Cornholio's girls. Hi, ladies. Oh, there's the peafowl. I don't know how long we'll have to wait until we find out if they're male or female. But uh, I can't wait. And I, I really do hope we at least have one male. At least one male. All right, so I know y'all want to have the scoop on the chicken coop. I know you want the scoop on the chicken coop. Guys, do you want... 
the honest truth on the chicken coop? Do you want the honest truth? I'm almost embarrassed to tell you. I'm gonna keep uh, the alpaca here in the background because I don't want you being mad at me. And don't, I, I, I just can't handle when you're mad at me. But I'm just gonna say it, and come on straight out and say it, that our chickens will not use the coop. The chickens will not use the coop. If you're getting upset, just keep looking at Indy. Um, Crandall and Marcy uh, come out and did a fine job. They worked, guys, they worked so hard and they built this really awesome coop. Uh, the night that they finished, Crandall and myself, we tried to catch all of the chickens. By that point, they were up in the roost, the raptors of the barn. And Crandall said, leave them all inside the coop for a couple of days, three or four days. And then when you let them out, they'll come back at night. So on that fourth day, we opened the door, they all came out. And the next night, only about half came back. The other half went to the rafters. Um, the um, following night is when I hurt my arm. <laughs> That means I couldn't catch them. And every night, less and less chickens went back to the roost and they begin to return to the rafters. I don't know what to say. I do not know what to say, uh, except for when my arm heals and I'm able to climb the ladder and catch them again, I will we'll restart the process. The good news is the coop is here. It's not going anywhere. The coop is here. All right, well, let's have a little peek at you know who. Good morning. I'm curious how you're enjoying this cooler weather. I thought I would catch you out running around this morning. I really thought I would catch her out running. She's been running laps, my friends. She's been running laps. She's uh, found her legs, as we say, and she's really enjoying showing off her little, her moves. Something's wrong. Oh my God, so how are we gonna do that? I'm gonna go get a no, 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 listen, here, I got an idea. I have a fun idea. God, you scared me though. All right, I'm gonna take off this hay. I'm gonna come back around and lift it up with this while you kick that block out from under it. This is really awesome. God, you scared me, Jacob. So we raised it with the tractor, and now he's gonna back up to me. Trudy, stop acting weird. He's gonna back up to me. Close that door. It's not gonna back up with the door open. It's a smart truck. It will not back up with the door open. Boom. Let me show y'all why you have to be very careful if you ever allow your pigs out into the yard. Everything seems to be fine, right? Everything seems to be fine until, who made this hole? Who made this hole, huh? I know who made it because I come by here to mow and I saw you laying in a hole that you dug in their pretty yard. Why did you do that, baby? These guys are something else. Um, yeah, Trudy did that. That was a, now of course I can't complain that at least she's kind of kept it over here to the corner where no one's ever going to see it. No one will ever know, Trudy. No one will ever know. But, uh, I will put them back in. Hey, leave my Maggie. True, sheesh. And that's another reason why you never let your pigs... Like 
father like son. He got his video camera out. <laughs> He's driving with no hands making a video. I tell you what, that's funny. And then Jamie, I feel horrible. She's over here doing the pond chemicals, the pond treatment. Can y'all believe it's been a month already? And looky there. Now all that white stuff, that's duck and goose feathers. The red stuff is the bad algae. And so Jamie's putting the good algae in. Bacteria versus bacteria. Y'all know that that same thing happens in your gut, right? In your gut, there's good bacteria and bad bacteria. And they battle. Okay. Didn't mean to gross you out. Just saying. Well, we have a much cleaner barn now. Looks great after it's all sprayed out and cleaned up. And he got her some green hay. The horses are enjoying some green hay. And the donkeys. Didn't say it too loud, did I? Everyone likes their alfalfa. You know, we can't overfeed it though because we've been guilty of that before. And uh, I even threw out some green hay for the goats. Oh boy, they're so happy. Oh, and Ringo got an itchy. <laughs> Poor guy, he has, a, guys, he goes back and forth. He has a couple of really good days and then he kind of has a bad day. I guess it's kind of like all of us, huh? Don't we all, okay. That was real funny. Real classy there, ladies, very classy. <laughs> 